of a national aviation policy that says, yeah, we need to increase the number of flights in this country. That's what it says, doesn't it? And do you support that? Yes, well, the national aviation policy has been reviewed at the moment and we will continue to... We need aviation connectivity. We are an island. So should we change that we, policy? We, we, we will always continue to evolve policies. But we do need aviation as a service. That industry will have to play its part by switching, switching to sustainable aviation fuels, like all other industries. Okay, but as it but stands, we, aviation is the transport sector with the fastest rising emissions, and yet is. you're supporting the idea of more flights in and we out of the country? Not, that doesn't no, make sense. No, I'm saying we have to retain aviation services to our country, they provide a valuable purpose and need. The issue of the cap in Dublin Airport is not coming from anything that our department has done. It was a planning condition set in 2008 by an independent on board Panola. You cannot throw out the law and the planning and the independence for planning system just by saying, well, sorry, I disagree with on board, on board Panola. We're going to scrap that. Yeah, but we know all of this, but they are looking to have the cap lifted and increased to anywhere between 35 and 40 and million. They, are you against that, as some of your Green Party TDs are? You cannot do that. You cannot just say, I'm going to waive a, a condition of on board Panola that was put in 13 years ago, 14 years ago now. OK, but they've been in a planning application to Fingal County Councils. Everybody knows to get it lifted. I'm just wondering, on the one hand, you're saying, action, action right now. And on the other hand, you're saying, mm, the aviation policy says we need connectivity. Like, are you torn well, the, in those two positions? No, we do need connectivity. My main job in the aviation sector is to start developing the sustainable aviation fuel so that it too can exist in a world where we knew, do need to move to net zero. Okay. We can't do that. Does the, the cap need to be lifted? Ryanair saying this week, we're going back to 1980s prices winter flights this Christmas. If you're in London, you want to fly home to see your mum and dad for Christmas, 500 euro, board, you'll be paying for the flight. Board Panola will make the call on that because they are the independent planning regulator. We suffered in this country when we gave up on the independence of our planning system and we went towards a corrupt planning system where politicians interfering and changing all the planning and, and other conditions. That didn't work for the people of this country. You okay, but the Green Party TDs have objected to the lifting for of the cap for a variety, for a variety of reasons. Of reasons. Ryanair saying last week, prices for consumers are going to go through the roof. Are you comfortable with that? No, you're never comfortable in terms of prices going up for, for cons con con consumers. But what I want is a proper aviation policy that sees it having a sustainable future. My job as Minister of Energy, as, as well as Minister of Transport, is to convert some of the offshore wind resources that we are developing. Through... Yeah, but that is a long way off, with all due respect. Within I think there's the next... about 2% of the fuel at Dublin Airport at the moment is that sustainable fuel. Yes. So we're way uh, off that. Yes, but that has to grow. And that's, that's the key development in aviation, in my mind, which will make it sustainable and will keep our connectivity as an island, which we need. OK, would you like to see prices at the airport go up? Because let's face it, more expensive flights, less people flying. That's good. I'm not going to set out... My job or our job isn't to set the prices of aviation. The prices... Sorry, the prices of aviation has gone up. Michael O'Leary is making how many billion profits because prices are now very high, because demand is high, and there is a constraint in Ireland, but it's not just in Ireland, it's right across Europe. Since COVID, numbers of flying have come back very strong, and the prices have gone very high because it's set by the market. Our so it's job, nothing to do with the cap? No. They're just making money here. Well, no, the cap has potential into next winter and into future years, has potential to restrict the growth in Dublin Airport, and that is a real issue for the airport. I fully understand that. But I keep coming back to the first point. What Ryanair and Michael O'Leary are saying is you can just wave your wand and throw out on board Panola and throw out an independent planning system and just change that cap. You can't. That's against the law. It's against good planning interests, and that's not going to happen. All right, look, we're going to leave that.